big diplomatic win for India. Death sentence for Indians commuted in Qatar. Relief for former Navy officers in Qatar. Sentence commuted days after Prime Minister and Qatar Emir meet. Former Indian Navy officers won't hang. Their sentences have been reduced. It's a big, big diplomatic win for India. This after India went to the Court of Appeals in Qatar and appealed against the death sentence which had been awarded to these eight former Indian Navy officers working for a defence services provider company in Qatar. Our Foreign Affairs Editor Geeta Mohan is now joining us with the phone line. Geeta, a big win for Indian diplomacy. Of course, just the first step, but at least capital punishment seems to have been knocked off the table for the moment. Well, that's right, Polony. Although this was a legal matter and uh, the laws of the land apply, uh, but there has been political level engagement at the highest level. Prime Minister Modi had met the Qatar of uh, uh, the, the Emir of Qatar, uh, Sheikh Tamim bin uh, Hamad Al Thani, on the sidelines of the COP28 not so long ago, uh, just this very month, on the first of December. And they did discuss the well-being of the Indian community, which uh, in many ways also was. Uh, 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 was to do with the well-being of uh, the, the the eight Indian ex-naval officers and the uh, and the death sentence that they were, uh, that they were facing in uh, in Qatar. And now some relief, in fact, a huge relief, uh, not just for them but the family members as well, who have been fighting this case uh, along with the help of the Indian mission there. Uh, the the relief is that now we do not have details on what the sentencing is. That the death sentence has been reduced in itself is a huge relief for the eight uh, Indians uh, in Qatar. And also the fact that uh, the Indian ambassador himself, along with officials, were present uh, in the, the Court of Appeal uh, today when the, when the uh, sentence uh, was delivered, where the death sentence was reduced, along with family members uh, who were also there, who have been traveling uh, up and down from India to Qatar every now and again when there is a major development in the case. And uh, we are also being told that all consular and legal assistance now, again, uh, continues to be extended to uh, the eight individuals. Uh, now, again, uh, we do not have details on what the sentencing has been because of the confidentiality and the sensitive nature of the proceedings. So uh, at this juncture, all we know uh, is the fact that death sentence has been reduced. Uh, what the sentences would be is something we'll have to wait and see. This is uh, the death sentence also happened in the second appeal, uh, Polomi, in the initial stages when they were sentenced. The sentencing amounted from three years to ten years, depending on different individuals and their involvement in the alleged case, uh, in the Aldhara case. Uh, and then later it was converted to death sentence on charges of espionage. Now that death sentence has been reduced, uh, in all probability, depending on what the sentencing looks like, the family members and uh, the individuals themselves will, uh, might appeal again uh, for not just reduction, but also because they have been appealing and pleading not guilty, mm -hmm. uh, pleading innocent. So we, again, will have to wait and see what the proceedings are going to be like, what is the advice that they will be given in the future, uh, 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 and, and, and what course of action they should be taking in Qatar. Uh, but the, according to reports, Polony, the, the charges against them were quite serious. It was of espionage mm -hmm. along with some cases of corruption. Uh, but uh, uh, the fact that the death sentence has been reduced in itself is a huge relief. So uh, one step at a time and uh, the mission as also the Ministry of External Affairs being very careful and cautious. And therefore, if you read the statement, uh, they have not mentioned anything beyond the fact that the sentences has been reduced. Mm -hmm. Now, we have confirmation that the reduction is uh, from death sentence for all the uh, eight individuals to, uh, to, uh, to different kinds of sentencing, but we do not have details on what those uh, years of sentence uh, is for each individual. So again, we'll have to wait and see, but this is a move in the right direction for the eight individuals. Also, it comes after a certain amount of not just high-level engagement uh, between the ministries, but at the highest level, on the 1st of December, Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself meeting with uh, the Emir of Qatar. Right. So as you pointed out earlier, Gita, that while, of course, this is a legal matter and a legal case which is playing out in another land altogether, the diplomacy 
you know, between Indian, uh, India and Qatar, and of course the engagements, the high-level engagements, including uh, the Prime Minister's meeting with the Emir of Qatar on the sidelines of COP28 in Dubai, all of that possibly had a small or a big role to play as far as uh, this uh, appeal verdict is concerned. Absolutely, Paulami. Um, Qatar looks at uh, knowing the country and uh, looks at cases of spying very, very seriously, as any country would. Hmm. Um, the report suggested, now we do not have details and no official confirmation, that uh, it did entail uh, some military uh, documents as well. And so that makes the entire charge, the allegations, much more serious and uh, Severe in terms of how Qatar viewed this entire case um, is the reason why I, uh, I I do believe that it is mm -hmm. not just the legal matters or the fact that the legal proceedings took its own course, but there was political intervention, that there was at the highest level some intervention seeking uh, relief uh, for these uh, individuals, not in terms of... Uh, uh, disrupting their own legal processes, but at least looking at some relief and reprieve when it comes to the death sentence that was awarded to the uh, to the eight individuals, and that happened after they were already sentenced in uh, in a court of right. appeals in Qatar uh, mm -hmm. on various other sentences uh, from three years to ten years, and then okay. from ten years it changed to death sentence was really a serious matter. Absolutely. Geeta, thank you so much for bringing us all of those details. My colleague Geeta will be, of course, uh, tracking those uh, developments and also, of course, uh, the details of the verdict is still to emerge. But a big relief for the families for the moment. Death sentence has been commuted. And that is, of course, the big first win as far as uh, the Indian government and its intervention in this matter is concerned.